हाय गाइज वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रोबो शिको सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यू ओ पी सिग्नल्स वट आर द यू ओ पी सिग्नल्स इन फॉन ऑफ रोबो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वे आई सेलेक्ट द आई ओ यू कैन सी देर आर द मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ द इनपुट आउटपुट एट एज वी एक्सप्लेन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो सो वन 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 टाइप इज द यू ओ पी यूजर इंटरफेसिंग इनपुट आउटपुट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर द दिस सिग्नल्स एंड फॉर वॉट पर्पज दे आर यू जी सो एज वी नो टू रन दिस रोबोट इन ऑटो बाई द सम अदर साइड डिवाइस दैट टाइम दिस सिग्नल्स मस्ट बी प्ले वन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल टू रनिंग दिस रोबोट by controlling by from the uh, outside field device so these signals 18 input and uh, 20 outputs are there so 18 ui as you can see uh, there are 18 ui and uh, output signals are 20 so by using these signals only plc field side device plc or any other controlling device is able to run this robot in auto mode so uh, we start from uh, यो यूजर आउटपुट सो फर्स्ट वन सिग्नल इज द कमांड इनेबल दिस सिग्नल शुड बिकम टू बी ऑन वैन रोबोट इज हेल्दी एंड दिस टिच पेंडेंट की इन ऑटोमोड एंड कंट्रोलर की साइड ऑल्सो इन ऑटोमेड एंड ऑल इज ओके दैट टाइम इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन सेकेंड इज अ सिस्टम रेडी वेन एवर द सिस्टम हैविंग नो फॉल्ट देर इज नथिंग दैट टाइम इट्स गोइंग टू बी ऑन एज यू कैन सी इफ देर इज फॉल्ट दैट टाइम इट्स नॉट टू बी गोइंग ऑन सो दीज आर द यू ओ मीन्स द आउटपुट सिग्नल्स आउटपुट फ्रॉम रोबोट टू पी एल सी एंड यू आई मीन्स द इनपुट सिग्नल फ्रॉम पी एल सी टू रोबोट सो दिस स्टेटस सिग्नल्स गिविंग टू पी एल सी एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉचिंग दिस सिग्नल्स PLC provides some inputs and uh, provide the program number and PNS number, RS number, whatever you are selecting. We'll explain later. First of all, we explain these signals. And uh, third one is the program running. Whenever there is some uh, program is running in background, uh, so that time it's going to be on program purge. If program to be going held, motion in hold, fault. Now at the time is there is fault. That's why it's going to be on. If I make it reset, that time it's going to be off. At first, robot at home position. TP enable. You can see it's the teach pendant enable status. Battery alarm. If uh, there is a battery alarm uh, inside the robot manipulator, there are uh, batteries which going to be voltage down. That time it's going to be on. Digi. If robot are uh, running already some other task and. Uh, these are the main important which is called the acknowledge sn or you can also call them pns or rsr uh, when a robot getting the pns or rsr it's a generate one signal acknowledge signal, acknowledgement that i am getting the rsr 1 rsr 2 pns 1 pns 2 like that it's having the 8 bits after that is the snack bit snack bit is the locking uh, that uh, confirmation of the program number i have got the this is the reserves not to, to be used by user now we go to inputs so these are the uh, we start from uh, first one we go to first number these are the inputs we are getting from the plc side or uh, outside the from field first one is the imstp it's uh, standing here for the emergency if uh, there is emergency in outside that time is going to be off there is emergency that time is going to be off uh, from robot or from other side plc side so it's a must be always on it's a must be always on be remember and uh, and second one is the hold it's a must be always on third one is the safe speed uh, it going to be remains on if it's become off that time robot speed going to be slow it's uh, reduced by 10 as per the setting so it's a uh, must be required always on only these signals going to be off when there is some emergency input signal there is required for hold that time uh, only this signal going to be off 
this one is the cycle stop if somewhere from the outside required to stop the cycle that time this signal this input signal will be get this is the fault reset from the outside plc somebody bound to reset the robot fault that time it's a signal going to be on off this is the start to after getting the program number after uh, getting uh, the program number if there is hold or cycle stop that time it's required this signal start cycle again this is the home signal at per signal if uh, there is some uh, setting for calling the directly home program this is the enable key it must be required always on it's uh, like that the command enable now these are the major as you can see uh, the input number from 9 to 16 these are the eight inputs which are calling the program number these are rsr also the pns also the style which type of program calling you required there is one setting for rsr pns style any other so we'll share in next video so to, uh, what are these uh, actually all upper conditions going to be healthy and our robot in automate all all things are okay that time plc give one this input number on if it's making nine number on that means it's a call automatically call the program rsr1 if rsr is not there it's called the automatically the pns1 if pns is not there that time it's called the automatically style one so in the same way whatever the plc provide the input number it's calling uh, automatically after providing if we are using the pns that time uh, it's provide the pns stroke pns start it's uh, after getting the stop it's uh, give the pns start there is one uh, cycle diagram for pns calling which can you can see or search from the google what are the pns timing cycle diagram with respect to this time first uh, give the pns number after 20 millisecond give the stop after 30 millisecond give the production start that that time only able to call the pns so these are the input and output signals uh, which are uh, used to run robot in auto mode so how we uh, there is also one configuration you can see uh, we require to configure these signals also if you go to configure you can see also they are like didio rack number slot number and start bit is for ui same for you which network you want to assign this by device net slot number start bit and uh, by doing this configuration plc able to control our robot by uo ui signals so one more uh, setting is there i will explain to making uo ui signal on off and press the menu key and you see press the menu key and go to next page there is a system six number and here is the config configuration so you go there so you can see the seventh number enable the uo ui signals so before running in auto uh, you have to make this true if you are going to be true that time it's communicating to plc by uo ui signals after configuration so by making it true it's uh, now in working state or controlling by 